Back in the live stream, Wednesday World. Here we go. We're live on the Nathan Garrett channel. We've got a bunch of people here all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. Like last week, it was just like some heavy breathing in Discord. And now this week, <laughs> suddenly, we have this whole crew showing up. And Dave was awesome enough in a meeting last week to be like, dude, I watched that. Wednesday world things you did and I want to be a part of that. So Dave, I appreciate you showing up. If you guys don't know who Dave Toll is, since this is a, another channel than, than ZCL, Dave is the voice of American cycling and uh, actually awesome to have him a part of your Wednesday worlds. Dave, thank you. Hey, thanks, Nathan. Uh, we're longtime colleagues and, and friends for sure. Uh, do you mind if I introduce the rest of our panel while you're warming up? Can yeah, go I ahead. Go liberties? ahead, man. Okay. Yeah, well, awesome. real quick, what is Wednesday Worlds? Wednesday Worlds is show up to the local group ride and just demolish each other. So for those that are unfamiliar, you haven't read the Zwift Insider post, maybe uh, we could get a link to that in the chat. But like... Well, we've got Eric right here. And he's right here. <laughs> and he's right here. So, but the whole idea is show up and smash each other like a Wednesday World local group ride and uh, have fun with it. We're doing it around the Zwift Classics right now. It's funny, Nathan, because last night a couple folks came. I uh, was at a live in real life event last night at Pearl Zoom. They do them every Tuesday night. They're called Tuesday Night Thunders. And it's exactly this. You know, people show up. There's a, well, actually, in that case, it's slightly, well, it's about organized like this. There is a small entry fee, 10 bucks, right? That's old school. And uh, same thing. They, you never know who you're going to get. So we have a super cool group uh, really touching on what Swift community is all about. I'm going to start with longtime supporter. I see the Tour de France Femme avec Swift stuff all over her uh, backdrop there. And that is Carissa Mint. Carissa's joining us from Charlotte, North Carolina. Good way to see you, Carissa. I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. <laughs> Same here, Dave. Uh, good to see you. Good to be here. Um, I'm... It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I had a little bit of fun last week. I had a lot of fun last week. So we'll see We'll see what we can get up to this week. And uh, cheer Nathan on, maybe get to some heckling. <laughs> Perfect. So you know what? I'm going to actually use you then as that resource. And um, Nathan has really turned me on and a lot of us on to Twitch and what twitch.tv and what's going on there. So I'm going to ask you to monitor the Twitch chat for us that'll be one of your roles and i want to hear more about last week too but before we do that let me jump down and say hi to um uh, well the next two men i have a tremendous amount of respect for eric schlangy eric you are a legend without a doubt um i use you as a resource i know that you've been a tremendous friend for nathan and a tremendous friend for anybody who's with because you are I honestly take this the right way as far as don't get a big head, but I think you're the best resource for what's going on right now in Swift. So welcome Eric Schlange from California. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Dave. You Flattery will get you everywhere, sir. So you stop that. Well, I'll, I'm, no, I'm, a, I'm super stoked. I love the whole, I love the whole setup for these, these races. I love kind of the informal feel, bringing the hitters out for an informal race. So it's fun just to be here. And good to finally be hanging with you, Dave. Right on. Thanks, Eric. And then uh, we'll move down to a man that we just call Sweet. And um, uh, the the end of the Wizard of Oz, Michael, uh, David Michael Sweet, uh, there's a moment where Dorothy says to the Scarecrow, I'm going to miss you most of all. And I think every time I leave a bike race, I feel that way about you, dude, because of your energy <laughs> and what you bring to uh, what, well, Whitney Post, who we all know is your partner. And you are one of the best examples of being supportive of women's racing in real time. You're a class act, dude. So thanks for joining us. You're down in Orange, California, Orange County, California. Orange, Orange County, California, just, just south of the city. Actual oranges grow there, don't they? Um, there's actually a surprising mix of suburbia and then like strawberry fields and orange, uh, orange trees. It's kind of surreal when you're out on a ride sometimes. Um, I can only imagine, uh, SoCal is absolutely nuts. So great. Thank you all for joining us. Nathan, that sets the table. You've got 22 K of racing. Uh, I'm going to go to you, Carissa. How did Nathan do last week? Let's see. Um, Nathan actually pulled out a win in last week's race. Um, wow. It came down to a, 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 a uphill sprint finish. 
Um, I think we were getting a little antsy here because there wasn't a lot of action going on earlier oh, in the yeah? race. And I think, I think Nathan might be looking to change that this week um, from what he's said to me. So, uh, but yeah, he, he won it. And then that uphill sprint it was fantastic, perfectly timed. It was just timing. It was just timing. <laughs> it was time. But yeah, it seemed like last week it was a little bit of the first Wednesday Worlds. A lot of big hitters showed up, and it was like interesting that people were looking for the win rather than the GC. And I'm kind of like looking at the GC now going, huh, we had probably the strongest field, but we didn't, we're not the leaders right now. And I think the reason being is that there's a little pressure for the win and I'm kind of like, okay, well, if I take some leadership here and just go, I'll, I'll demolish myself. How about everybody else does that? And let's who cares who wins. Let's get up on the GC, right? As a group. So we'll see how that goes. And Nathan, this speaks perfectly to the, the mindset of what we're doing here on Wednesday worlds, because well, and I'd also, I was just, I just wrote down hashtag only Nathan, Carissa, because only Nathan wins a bike race and says, you know what? I'm going to completely change my strategy for next week. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but, but there's something to that. So I'm going to throw it down to you, uh, sweet. Um, the course here, uh, it, it isn't looking at it. 22 K out here. It's three circuits, three rondes, not a ton of, Oh, there's everybody in the pen. So, uh, I'm going to actually next move over to you, Eric, but okay, here we go. How tough is this course, uh, David? Ooh, this is, uh, this is definitely a tough one with, uh, it's got that steep, like punch towards, uh, to get up and over. And then you cut across with that steep downhill. So I think it's going to be a good one. I look forward to seeing lots of Nathan Chickenhead Guerra uh, coming out <laughs> and just going you know, blow, body blow for body blow for body blow with everybody. <laughs> he knows him. He that. knows him, Dave. I love it. I know. He's got them all. So, all right, Eric, uh, they say when Nathan looks like a chicken eating breakfast, you know that we're in the sprint. Is he going to attack this race, do you think, right from the get-go, from kilometer zero? Is We are underway. You can see the brief lead in here. Talk to me about uh, strategy for Mr. Garrett today. Oh, I yeah, I think arrow. he's going to be pushing it. Oh, an anvil, yes. But maybe pushing it a little bit in the, into the SEs, but I bet you he's going to recover a bit so that he can push hard on the, the first climb. Because there's really, that's the key feature of every lap is that little, the bottom of the KON. And he's certainly going to, uh, to save a little, save a little spark each lap for that. But I bet we'll see some other attacks from him outside of that because he has promised that he wants to see a more animated race this week. Thanks, Eric. So, okay, guys, uh, I'm on Zwift Power. I'm looking at the field we have. So they're racing. And actually, I'm going to come back to you, Eric. Can you quickly give an outline on what we look for, what this uh, Zwift Classics is all about? We're doing uh, today two bridges loop, but it's pretty varied. Are we going to go to every world? Or, well, I guess that's not quite possible, is it? But where are we going to go? Yeah, not quite every world, series? but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's close to every world. I mean, there's I think there's eight races uh, each one in a different world. I don't remember offhand what the courses are, but I could look them up. But it's a good, uh, it's a good mix. Like we're going to be in Yorkshire. Um, most of the races are pretty short, uh, but it's, it's they're one-off races. But there's also a GC, and it's an interesting sort of GC because it's based on your time. It's not a points GC, so in theory. To win the GC, you really have to be in a group that's willing to work together and go super fast uh, together right, sure. around the course. Yeah, that makes sense, Eric. Uh, so let's talk about that quickly, uh, Sweet, because there's a big difference between an Omnium, which is a points-based race, right? And it, uh, typically, like Tulsa Tough is an Omnium. You score points versus what we're doing here. And uh, let's uh, actually looking at the action here. Who's attacking right now? Is, uh, but, but this is going to come down to maybe combining your efforts with some other riders. This is a strong field, guys. But to you, Sweet, uh, this is a fun way to race, isn't it? Uh, I got to say, this is pretty innovative on the Zwift racing. It's really hard to be able to actually compare races across categories because it's like I may have won the America's West time frame, but there was just like 15 right. of us who live on the West Coast versus the 1 p.m. European um, 
sphere right there. So it's kind of an interesting format. Uh, I raced last week and didn't didn't do that well in the GC comparison. But so you got to play the tactics of one of the race and then two, which race you actually do. So it definitely puts like some three dimensional chess going on across the series. Yeah, absolutely. Chris, I'm going to go to you next, but one more for you here, sweet. Looking at this field, you race as an A. You mentioned uh, doing the uh, ZRL stuff. Gonna trash this. This is a heads up for tactics. I'm trashing this anvil. Forget that thing. Good. So Nate no, is dude, throwing play it. Play on hard mode. It. <laughs> hard mode. Venmo you fifty dollars <laughs> if you hit that anvil. At oh the my gosh! Spot. He just. I just lost fifty bucks. Oh, what the oh, heck? Oh. No! Fifty dollars in the trash can. You can beat That's him with a anvil. Oh, this holds all laps. Hey, quick, quick note. Rachel Elliott is in the pack. I don't know if Liz oh, showed up, but I see Rachel Elliott here. <laughs> hey, you know, Chris, uh, yeah, yes. you know, Chris, I'm going to show She, when you talk about Rachel Elliott, is in my mind what. So, uh, Hugo Oile winning the Tour de France stage yesterday was so amazing. Mm. Well, we have a lot of amazing people in the Zwift community, and Rachel Elliott is at the top of that list. What do you know about Rachel Elliott? Have you been able to follow her story? Oh yes, she she was a she's been around. I'm not sure how many years for a long time with Zwift, and um, she has been an outstanding community member, uh, helping others, encouraging others, especially women. And she had a stroke a number of years back. Um, I think it was while riding Zwift. And I think yeah. Nathan is on the attack now, yeah. so we might want to go back to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at I this guy. Look I at wonder... this guy. Okay, so this, Eric, let's check this out now. Huge moment. Nathan, as we Rachel were talking before the show, said he was going to blow this race up. He's doing exactly that right now, isn't he? Oh, man. Yeah, and Rachel's, and Rachel's chasing him. Maybe we're going to have a, a, a Nathan and Rachel two up attack that'd be that'd be fun to watch she has so, ha come so far training hard to get back um i'm not sure if it's where she was but it's definitely to um an impressive level and um, her strength is in time trialing she does hard steady efforts <laughs> so i am impressed to see her attacking this punchy or following this punchy attack by nathan and Your so team, again team we're talking about it. rachel elliott I'm sorry. Go ahead, Eric. Uh, just mentioning the theme just just passed Nathan, and he was a big player in last week's race. Super strong guy from Beast Mode. Yeah, Kristoff theme is uh, absolutely a, a rider of Nathan's caliber. Nathan would Nathan, you want to work with Kristoff here? I gotta think you do. He's a monster. Trying to get dude. there. He's flying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I'm really so, trying uh, to get on. Nathan, rated on a scale of one to wheel. ten, how much is Kristoff a guy you want to work with here? One hundred percent. One to ten. One hundred percent. Yeah, perfect fit. He's got fit. the power. He's got the power. So sweet, that gap isn't large. Do they want anyone to bridge across here? <laughs> oh, and they're definitely going to be waiting for that climb to really punch it, try to induce as much damage on the riders behind as possible, and make the bridge. Pro move from the bottom of the A's, Nathan. Hold on to that ghost, and when you get past, you hit it so nobody sees you as you get spat out the back. Ha! <laughs> so let's quickly, uh, Carissa, I know you're monitoring the Twitch channel. Let's quickly talk about the gamification of Zwift, the power-ups that they have out here today. I've heard Anvil. I've heard Ghost. Uh, there's a, there's a quite a, an array of them. What have we got going on today, Carissa? Oh gosh, you put me on the spot there. I gotta look at okay, the no worries. We have. I mean, obviously I don't we have the put... anvil, we have the the anvil yeah, there's um, a ghost. adds weight to you. They add a significant amount of weight, which is good on the downhills. The ghost makes you invisible for a short period of time. That's great for making some attacks. Um, what's the third one that we had this week? Let me see. A feather. A feather. Feather is basically what it sounds like. It makes you as light as a feather going uphill for a short period of time. So it's great for uphill attacks. Yeah, so 50 kilograms is what <gasps> we've been told was how much the anvil weighs. So obviously, uh, Michael, you were joking that he needs to play it on the uphill, right? And you'll give him 50 bucks on Venmo? 50 bucks on Venmo for those extra 50 <gasps> kilos going up the climb. <laughs> I can't even imagine. 
I really can't. So, okay, it looks like, Eric, let's talk about the race right now in front of us. It's three laps out here. The climb is a monster, and it's going to be Gara and team now working together. So this is pretty much what Nathan was looking for. Maybe yeah, he's going to lose a lot. This is a little bit of recovery here on this descent. You can super tuck it. It's actually it's a good oh place to use the anvil, too. But that was so hard, I don't guys. know if they're going to be able to stay away. There's a lot of guys behind them. Yeah. All right. That was monster effort, Nathan. Uh, is Kristoff digging as deep as you are? Oh, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. He's working. Right. They're willing to... If they're willing to share the effort. Do you need any other riders to bridge up? Or are you happy with just the situation right now? I'd like them to attack each other back there. Because otherwise, it's just going to be a roll game. <sighs> All right, sweet. What's the pro tip? Give me the insider pro tip for Gara right now. Oh, for Nathan Gara? Uh, I'm pretty sure you should be working with team. Or is I, I don't know if that's for next week. But... No, it is. Here. You know, it's team. Then, I asked him. I, I, I've been in communication perfect. with him. It's team. So yep. roll turns. Ooh, that, that field is coming up real quickly. Sit on. Feel that fields. It's they're, I think they're going to catch you. And then counterattack on the next climb. Rope a dope. Keep it high. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, I would agree. I, I wouldn't try to stay away at this point. There's a, there's a big pack. I mean, we started with 70 riders. And with the A's, you're not going to get a lot dropped on that climb the strong guys are going to stay on so save, save the legs bucks, nathan. for, you know for you the uphills 50 bucks. Ah! 50 bucks nathan so if he if he deploys the anvil so let's talk about how this works quickly guys he doesn't have to use the anvil he can bin it as they say in the uk just throw it away not deploy it so that was something that we learned in ZRL, Eric, big time, as riders really misfired. It cost racers a lot of points and places out there. Yeah, I've, I've raced this, uh, this classics twice already this week, and it's hilarious watching riders trigger the anvil on the uphills. I'm not sure what they're thinking it does. If they think it means that they'll, they'll hammer <laughs> harder, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what the that... logic is, but it, it happens in every B race multiple times. <laughs> That's the classic, that word doesn't mean what you think it means moment, right? Um, yes. So, all right, Carissa, what's going on on Twitch? <laughs> We've got just a couple of comments right now. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, M. Ju says, love what you guys are doing for the community. Not racing tonight, but can't miss the show. Yeah, definitely got to tune in to see Nathan do this to himself. Um, <laughs> and, uh, uh, so... Gabby's in the house and she says, crazy team. And uh, I don't know, I kind of agree, but I also love that somebody's willing with Nathan to go and, and entertain this craziness. Oh, we got somebody else. We got company. Yeah, who bridged Mock up? Song? Sweet, who Mock bridged song. up? Uh, I can't read the names. It, oh, it's C. Moxon okay. from WLC. Now this is a much more interesting move and I think you need to go all in on this, Nathan. Okay, so that's it, Eric. They're talking about committing here. We're about, well, the, it's going to be critical if these three can cooperate, isn't it? It is, uh, but looking on Zwift Power Live, you've got 41 riders just one or two seconds behind them. Just so that's, what they're, that, yeah. that's who they're trying to stay away from. <gasps> I think so Nathan you Nathan's guys... wise to uh, sit on the wheels and, and attack the uphills. And that's why breakaways don't work. Um, you know what I'm saying? So this is the sport. It's the give and the take. And you got, I have to say to all three of you, one of the things that Nathan and I, uh, you know, the, the tactics and how you deploy resources and all of these things are huge. Nathan is very, very aggressive in the way he races. And they say fortune favors the bold, Carissa. It does. It does. And, you know, I think so many people have gotten used to breakaways not working that people have stopped trying. And I think that there is a chance for breakaways to work. We've seen it happen. You just have to be committed <gasps> and it has to be the right kind of race. And this might be the right kind of race. We'll have to see. Um, we have a comment from Crazy Chicken Lady saying that uh, <laughs> I wish we could get more women in the women's classic. Um, we do have some women here in the open, but the women's um, classic races, they're uh, not open for as many time slots, but they still have a few per day. 
Um, they have been sparsely attended. Um, and I, I myself have entered the, the open races, but I might enter some of the women's as well, um, just to get that attendance up because, um, you know, it just takes a few of us to, to have a good race. So I encourage all the women out there, go ahead, join in. Um, they're short races. They're not that, that uh, long. So you can pop them in uh, into your schedule just fine. And we, we could use some more women racing. Uh, completely agree. And obviously a huge week coming Boxes, up. It's it so deep ah. right now. So talking on a different subject here is I'm going to go right back to Tour de France Femme avec Zwift. But right now, these three, uh, sweet, taking a look at this. They're about halfway into the race right now. A uh, lot of work being done. And when you look at Swift Power now, I still see some really big names here that are waiting for a sprint. One of them would be Greg Abbott. I'm not sure if Zach Nair took the start or not. He's a Daz Carter is here. There's a lot of talent in this field. These guys uh, holding off this group, but uh, the gap about seven seconds right now. Well, I think I saw king of the e-racing memes get Zwifty in the field. Am I right? Yeah, Gaitel? Greg Abbott. Yeah. <laughs> ah. So you uh, follow I'm a him. Bias. I gotta say, I do love you, Nathan. But get Zwifty also has my heart. So <laughs> uh, I'm low key rooting for him to win in the sprints. Uh, uh oh. On all seriousness, back to this race. I think this next climb is really going to be a make or break moment for this uh, this breakaway. So really gonna have to hit that feather, which is you're gonna have to Venmo me $50 doing that, Nathan. <laughs> uh, the old switcher. We have four hey, now. Eric, I, I, yeah, Barry joining here. The, it looks <sighs> like we've got a whole new bike race here. Eric Schlange, I'm gonna throw it to you as we update what's going on for Nathan. Now, you can hear Nathan is digging deep. I don't even wanna ask him to speak, but Eric, is he gonna be happy? I think so. This might be good for them. BL13, one of the strongest teams in the world right now. Yeah, I think having, having a couple more in that break is huge. And they're, they're coming up to the next, the next climb. And that's where, that, that's where the highest probably one-minute power of each lap is going to happen. So they need to, they need to be able to work together, get their speed back up quickly as soon as they hit the descent and stay away on that uh, on that descent that's where speeds pick up quick and the the pack can swarm you at the bottom of it with all with all the draft that they have compared to a smaller group nathan is incredibly transparent nathan what's your best ever one minute power uh eight something <laughs> yeah uh <sighs> when you take a look that yeah uh, you're gonna be the, maybe <laughs> you'll have a new maybe you'll have a new record after today um uh, good luck Good luck, Nathan. Good luck, Nathan. <laughs> Tell us, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, coffee, coffee, and more coffee. Lots of coffee. Uh, yeah, no. Nope. So you'd have to say that in multiple states, uh, what Nathan is doing to himself is not even legal. That's how much he's uh, just killing it right now. This group, though, holding on, it's 10 seconds, sweet. Is it getting better? I think so. It's getting better. The, the pack is going to start accelerating here very shortly as they come into the climb. And that descent is really where the advantage is made for the big group. So how much of a gap they have coming through downtown Watopia is really going to tell us whether or not this break is going to make it. Hey, Eric, I know that with Zwift Insider, you've got such a great uh, feel for the pulse of what's happening with everything Zwift. When you see, what, what's your, the threshold? I really love seeing this race being successful. And I, I would say with the quality of field uh, that we have here, it, it's exactly that. Uh, <sighs> what, are you, uh, what are your thoughts now sorry, on how sorry. we're doing out here? I'm hurting. <laughs> I totally agree. This is, especially in the summer when numbers are down, you don't see, this is a rarity right. to see a race with this many hitters. So that's super cool. And I would mention for the ladies, I think one reason why maybe you aren't seeing as many strong ladies in the women's only races is because if you're looking for ranking points, ladies racing in the mixed race is the way to get ranking points because the guys, the guys are ranked so much better than the ladies. Like the top man is like 66 and the top lady is like 120. 
So if all if if the strong ladies can race against the guys and get those ranking points, that's that's how they do it. That's how that's how the top ladies are are earning the points. And you've got a few of them in here. You got um, Jarhead from SZ, Rachel Elliott. There's a there's a few. Liz Van Halen's here. Liz Van I think Liz Van Halen's here. back. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for her. I didn't see her in the list. I knew she had signed up. Oh yeah, there she is. There she is. Yeah. So, and Liz is the current number one ranked woman rider in uh, Elms with Power. So this is also this one of my favorite. Yeah, one of our favorite people as well, Carissa. Liz Van Howling has done a tremendous job, hasn't she, of being a part of the community? Yes, yes, she has been amazing, um, and you know, showing up uh, to these races and everything else. We we need more women, I think a lot of women, um, and myself, I was included in that a few years ago, are a little hesitant to race, um, especially to join in with the men, but even to join in with the women. And I would say there are, this is the A category, this is where Nathan hangs out, and this is where Liz Van Howling hangs out. But you don't have to be an A category, you don't have to be a fast racer to join races like this and to shake things up and to, to compete. Um, no, we have racing know, for every be, level. Yeah, you yeah. make a great point. And, um, don't be intimidated. You don't have to do what Nathan is doing to himself here, which is digging incredibly deep. <laughs> you can absolutely find racing that will fit where you are at with your fitness. So they're out on the last lap. I'm going to check in with all three of you very quickly. First off, uh, Sweet, how's Nathan doing? Well, give him a score on 1 to 10 so far. You, you happy with this <laughs> ride? You be, you're the pro heckler. In in the race, I would say he he's doing a 10 out of 10 on slogging himself. But if I had to give him like a tender score right now, he's probably a four out of 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, four yeah, out of 10, coming. but he's a Packers fan. Oh, they're about they, to get they some company. Near, near's here. Okay, yeah, Zach, near's, near's here. Near's here. The I'm going to throw it to you, Eric Schlange. Talk to me about Zach Nair. How dangerous, how talented, who is this guy? Super dangerous, super talented. Uh, I, th I think he's one of the guys that qualified for the Worlds just in the one-off races with a win. Yeah, just a super strong rider. So, yeah, he just bridged up and I think pulled a few riders with him. So, yeah, the race is kind of well, David kind of coming back together. Now it's on. Yeah, former BZR was the team. Abus LaCole sports rider David Deschmecht is an absolute monster. This is turning into a Donnybrook out here now as we take a look. So, all right. Sweet, look at this. This is the train. It's leaving the station. If you're not on it, I don't think you're winning a bike race on Watopia today. What are your thoughts? Is this the move? This is definitely Remember we got a, the downhill. a break or perhaps uh, an only the strong survive situation, as they say. <sighs> and I think the <sighs> sitting on the, with these top three is going to be critical for this finishing place. So, Eric Schlange, you live somewhat near Donner Pass. I would imagine being in the Donner Party would be somewhat similar to this. Not everyone is going to survive. <laughs> no. Yeah, who's got the, uh, who's got the most well-marbled quads? That's going to yes. be the question. It ain't Do Nathan. We... He's all muscle. Wow. He's stringy. He's saying, don't eat me. You know, like, I, I, no, I will not no. be enjoyable. These guys are going to slug this one out. All right, Carissa, what do you think? Can Nathan go back? to back with wins here is it possible i think it's possible anything's possible they've still got four seconds the main pack still has not caught them the whole time um i think but i think he's got some some difficult competition here and and i don't know looking at him i i just don't think he's working hard enough man oh, yeah God. i agree <laughs> I'd like to see a little bit. Hey, hey michael what's nathan running this thing at 72 percent like a chevy uh like a chevy uh, f-250 yeah, I'm, 70%. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's in, he's in hate, like, Guitar Hero easy mode. Uh, yeah. I think we can bump it up, add a couple more uh, features to this one. He's at the six and under mode. He needs to go to 12 and under, right? No, oh, we're just kidding, Nathan. Come on, dig a little deeper, though. You want this one. you got to want this. All right, Eric, you're a big Nathan Guerra fan. Let's talk about the other riders he's got with him right now. David Deschmecht is racing out of Germany. <laughs> Zach Nair is one of the best esports racers out there. He's a coach. He's a writer. Uh, so he rides with an R, but he writes with a W. Something uh, you, all three of you, I'm sure, can respect. But look at this. The catch has been made. Hit the reset button, guys. All right. Sweet. All that work doesn't help, doesn't uh, pay off anything at the bank. It's a zero. 
right now Nathan is going into a uh, negative bank statements he completely in the red but sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go for they're it making a margin then, call oh, on Nathan yeah margin call on Nathan's fitness right now Eric they are they are Nathan's got a decision to make does he continue to blow himself up Gamps went, in this Gamps little went. bit Gamps is gone Michael Gamps, Nathan's yeah. talking about Gamps, one of the most uh, talented he's riders. Yeah, he's, he's strong. But this There's is almost a, like a CRL. I mean, it's a big bunch. Still a pack of 40 riders. Oh, yeah, they're all launching off the front here. So so how strategic does Nathan get? Does he play it safe at all or keep up with the theme of today's race, which is throw caution to the wind and make it interesting? <laughs> you know, they uh, say MG every on Twitch now and says, then. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You can go ahead, Dave. No, keep going. You're good. Okay, MJ on Twitch says, uh, keep yelling at the top tube, Nathan. It did wonders for Kristoff on the Carcassonne stage on the Tour de France on Sunday. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw him struggling, but yeah. I did see that. <sighs> uh, they're gone. That's funny. Ah, they're gone. So Daz Carter is still here, uh, a very talented sprinter. Uh, I'm starting to think, Michael Sweet, that uh, it looks pretty likely. How about Greg Abbott? We mentioned Get Swifty. If you're on Instagram, uh, he is so funny, man. He's got an absolute talent for memes. Come on, boys. Come uh, on, GC. Come on, GC. Let's go. Condor, WLC, work. <sighs> okay, Who's Nathan talking about, Eric? <laughs> He's talking about the guys in his pack, trying to get them to take polls to keep the pack speed up for the overall GC. If you want to catch them, the Nathan, you're going to have to full send, full send this next climb. Full send, baby! Yeah, this will this will be the crucial <laughs> climb right here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what Nathan crank that is all about. Boy. <laughs> here we go. Three K to go. Oh God, Sometimes dude. that soldier boy cranks you. Let's that's go. Right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not a whole lot of racing left here, guys. Well, we're coming down to 2.3K to go. go is that what this finish is exactly. wild because you it's a one minute attack on this hill and then oh, WLC, fast look descent. At look at WLC, just they both have fast, fast they both had invisibility. Both of them. So ah. w, Wahoo Lacole playing the ghosts there quite effectively, Carissa. Yes, yes, that's how you use them. You go and, and you don't give anybody a chance to respond to you. And by, by the time they see you, you're gone. And we can see the pack completely stringing out now as people try to respond to what they saw from WLC just there. I have to think, Eric, that having the feather, though, that's going to be the winning ticket as it reduces your body weight by 10%. That's a big, big deal. It's a big help. It's a, you trigger it right as the road gets steepest, right around this right-hand bend. And that, that, yeah, definitely helps you jump away. All right, sweet. Here we go. Up over the top. Keep sprinting until you get definitively into that downhill. This people want to let off here, but you got to keep going to bridge that gap. Yeah, it's too yeah, shallow. This is of make a road. break, you isn't it? Easy. All <laughs> right, guys. So we get to bring them home now. I'm going to run it around the horn here as we go pretty close to 1k to go carissa thanks a ton for joining us here it's certainly starting to look like a field sprint if it's not nathan who are you looking at out of this group oh gosh uh nathan's got it looks like the best 15 second watts per kilogram out of the group we've also got uh jonas yarhead in here with a pretty good sprint um theme is still in How here about thomas berry BL13 has Barry with uh, almost 17 oh. watts per kilo. I see. I didn't Brad see him. My screen just refreshed. Yeah. Yeah. So how about you, Eric? I'll go to you. Who are you looking at as danger men? Uh, well, Nair for sure. Nair's up there, and he's got he's got 14.7 watts per kilo. Super strong. Gaspari as well. When Nathan was talking team about really. Condor, that's the Chilean team that he's mentioning there. Sweet, who's your pick here? 
There we go. I'm going all in on the breakaway is going to get caught right at the line. Keep going, Nathan. Everything you got. Let's Come go. On, Nathan. Let's go. Let's go. 200 meters. As I sit in the comfort go, go, of go. my Follow AC that guy. compartment. Go, 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 Push it, push it, Almost push it. Oh. Kick it head, Nathan. <sighs> oh, kick it head mode. Let's go. Oh. Check that cord. Oh. And it was Zach Nair. I have, oh, excuse me. It's a little hard there. We will be back with results, but uh, wow, what a race. 22K, full gas. I mean, they buried the accelerator. That's what we're talking about for Wednesday Worlds. Ah! It was mass chaos out there. Their bodies laying all over Watopia right now. What a finale. So congratulations to the uh, Avis, the whole rider. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Kuman for the yeah. win, Nair for silver, Gamst for bronze, Becker fourth, Kayan fifth, Nathan ends up in sixth, uh, Greg Abbott in seventh, uh, Shaler in eighth is what we have right now. Right on, everybody. So let's go around the horn one more time here as Nathan will get his breath. That was what a finale. Oh, boy. Carissa, this is really, really fun. Woo! It is. It's a blast. <laughs> and it's, it's Nathan, great I... to see people animating a race like this, um, you know, like Nathan. <laughs> well, yeah, here, guys, Nathan... like, we have this idea that breakaways can't work, but like, a breakaway worked there because, let's say I was on Abus LaCole, and I just freaking buried myself like that. Like, I just worked for everybody, kind of, who wanted to counter, right? And then... Yeah. They were, they were patient. They had eight, seven to eight to give long enough and hold out and then sprint. And like, I mean, I averaged 4.8 watts per kilogram, which is <laughs> like a half a watt higher than the field, but it made it so, if you're willing, you can make it work to make, you know, racing interesting on Zwift. And that was one of the things I really wanted to show here was like, if we're willing, you can work together in a way that uses the draft and uses the tactics and the power-ups to make a really gamified, interesting race. I want to say I should have called uh, Kuman on that because I'm looking at the pure watts for 15 seconds. He's got 13.55 oh, yeah. on the power. So yeah, wow. that, that would have been a good call. <laughs> Oh, hey Eric, where yeah. are we heading next week for the for the uh, the racing? Next week is the Watch the Femmes takeover, so it's on Francis oh. Kaspot's route. So we've got the the petite KOM, the zigzag KOM is going to be the big feature of that one. One lap oh. around that. Hey Carissa, oh. speaking of Watch the Femmes, what a huge huge moment women's professional racing is going. Let's just say racing is going to have coming up next week how stoked are you what's the vibe in the community for <laughs> tour de france uh, uh fams of x swift i am very stoked and i've been um seeing different comments and hearing different comments from women who are just like finally they they are so excited to watch this and to see uh, a race that will hopefully become on the stature of the tour de france with um similar production values and, and things like that, because that's been a difficult thing is getting coverage for these women's races. They have tend to have so much action and it, people don't get to see it. And I think that's why the slogan is watch the femmes because you will be able to see them in action starting on uh, Sunday for eight days. So I think I realize be amazing. we're worldwide, but there's going to be people here in the United States that would say, great, where do I watch the femmes? Well, it's Peacock, just like you're watching the, the Tour de France right now. So it is, that's where Avec Zwift comes into play. I don't want to soft sell that, Carissa, to be honest, because uh, the, the women's racing, it's not like it just became good. It's always been good. It's just we haven't had a chance to see it. The, uh, the Giro Rosa, uh, that was the big problem. It was unbelievably ra uh, well raced, but no one could see it. It wasn't on TV. That's been solved. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zwift. Watch the race. Support the women. And um, we don't need to beat around the bush. This is a huge deal, and it's going to be awesome. So watch. We'll, it's, it's on Peacock. Eric, uh, th this is sort of uh, really one of Zwift's strengths, isn't it, is building the sport from the ground mm -hmm. up? 
It really is. They've, uh, they've done an incredible job, I'd say, from their very beginning to give equal time, equal, <clears throat> equal prizes, equal exposure to women's racing. And, yeah. and I think that's helped level it up for everybody. Completely agree. You know, uh, Sweet, I would have to say that you're the perfect example, just like Nathan, of someone who in real life, you're out there on Zwift, you're out here, you're you're super active on in all of these things. It's really, really cool to see it all come together here in 2022. So, uh, all right, let's talk about Nathan's ride today. Uh, you want to take a look at the results, Nathan. Dave, real quick? Like I can go, I can scroll through them a little bit even. How's that? Sure, you bet. You yeah, bet, Nathan. Uh... Um, Give them a little. Yeah. What are your thoughts? How, how well? How well do you know uh, the uh, the? I Avis don't know. You know, Kuman. I don't actually. That's interesting. Is he's pretty quiet on my radar. How about you? Like, I mean, we. I know him now. I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, to be yep. honest, I'm like, where'd this guy come from, right? Like, so obviously, Avis Lacole are on a little bit of a recruiting, you know, and that's kind of the cool thing. We're in the middle of summer here, and like. We do this big invite to like, come on, show up. Who's the hard hitters? And now we've got this new on the radar talent from Avis LaCole, who was one of the strongest teams we know of in all of Zwift Esports by far, you know, and uh, really cool to see him show up and just smash. I mean, Zach Near, but right behind him from next, the, the premier freaking team. Uh, BL13 with Gamps. Gamps, I want to give a shout out to him because Very well known. it almost yeah. never works for him though. Right, like he usually gets <laughs> caught and then that doesn't work out. It worked out today. He got a podium, Dave. Yeah, extremely cool, Nathan. So <laughs> Becker is another name for Fusion there that uh, is showing up on our radar. So yeah, I don't recognize him either. Time of year. Right, so it's a really exciting, Nathan, because we're seeing some new fresh blood coming into the sport right now of esports racing. I did want to note that we had another woman, Matilda Flores, was racing out of Chile today for the AMP team as well so you can see liz van howling and 12th up. place 4.2 watts per kilogram oh, wow. she's there she tied she had one second back in the sprint with the boys here like what <laughs> oh my gosh that's amazing she's, she's gonna pull down a lot of points for that wait now wait is did you, who's the other woman did you say i'm looking through well, I, here i had matilda flores was another we had uh also well, marlene added. was here marlene jarhid was here got it yeah yeah so so yeah it wasn't just one there's a there's a handful of women and you know what carissa that's something that mm -hmm. it's nice to be able to say isn't just incredibly rare there's a lot of talented women that jump in with the men and more than hold their own aren't there there are um i feel like is which is there's usually options. Uh, a lot of race organizers do like Zwift give options for women to enter a women's only race, but some really like to see how they can um, mix it up with the men and someone can do a really good job of it uh, because Zwift can act like an equalizer in some respects and give you an opportunity to uh, pick your races, uh, work to your strengths and, you know, mix it up and you don't have to be restricted by things like that. I am seeing yeah, um, Matilda is Carlos's daughter, so a father-daughter racing together, actually. Isn't that cool? Oh. So, so awesome. That's Swift. That is, yeah. that is 100% <laughs> Swift. Um, I mean, and then ha happen. having the Watch the Fans on real, and, like, the new right. generation thing, and I just love that. That's such a perfect little golden nugget right there. Um, 100%. I wanted, I wanted to really quickly shout out Alvarado because – him and Car they went for it in the final. Yeah. You saw him chase, right? Like he went for it. And this is why I didn't though. Just I didn't chase because I knew I would end up back here after those efforts we put. I mean, good on them for taking the risk. Same with Moxon, solid ride. Big shout out to Theme for all the, the work he did. He said he did it for the TV time. I saw a little comment there. But <laughs> like, it was, this stuff's I mean, awesome. I mean, just all around this whole group, you know, like one thing I, one of my goals here, you guys, is to have that same camaraderie and that same, to the men and the women jumping in, like that local group ride where you get your boy, your, you know, your crew, your crew that make you stronger together. And you know, the more you hurt each other, the better you're going to be coming out of that dojo, the better you're going to be coming out of Fight Club. To go take a, nobody goes if you watch the movie fight club nobody wanted to mess with any of those dudes they just didn't care right and that's what i want to show up i want to walk away with blood, bloody and bruised but knowing that we're all stronger for it 
Well, good. That ought to get more people involved. Convincing uh, <laughs> 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 marketing it's message. With Nathan. Hey, it's a hey great come time. on. Anyone who knows what a Wednesday rolls ride is about knows exactly what I was saying right there, right? Like, yeah, but no, 100% speaking to Carissa's not. point, though, you don't have to get bloodied and bruised to enjoy the racing on Swift. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. Choose yeah, I your used level. to. I used to get a little intimidated by people. I, cyclists love to talk about suffering and pain, and you know, when I was starting out, I was like, "Man, this sounds like it's going to be really hard." But it is what you make it, and sometimes it is. It is fun to to get a little bit of suffering and pain going. I, I kind of get that now. <laughs> One of the great lines from Greg Lamond is, "It never gets easier. You just go faster." Right. So let me thank all of our guests here today. Nathan is uh, Carissa Min. Wonderful to have you with us. Thanks for your insight and for monitoring Twitch. Eric, keep up the good work there. We rely on you. So Eric Schlange joining us from California and then down south in California. Uh, Mr. Sweet, thanks. I'll see you at a Belgian waffle ride. So actually, I'll probably see you on yeah, eSports World soon again. But thanks again, Sweet. Yeah, thanks, always, everybody. Always lurking. Yeah, they were just at the place here. I just want to do a couple of quick little housekeeping things uh, for those that are like, wait, why are Nathan and Dave over on this channel? Um, ZCL, uh, we'll be back um, with plenty of programming. We're pushing out to August for some of it. Uh, this is going to be a surprise to everybody who is actually on this program right now besides me and one other person who's not here with us, but I'm going to just throw it out there. Be on the watch out for this. The wrap is on its way. Anna actually put this together, and it's going to be a podcast show that we are doing immediately following TTT coverage on 2 p.m. on Thursdays. So just a heads up with that, everybody. That will be over on ZCL, so if you want to check that out, go head on over there. It will also be released as audio. It's essentially a look back at everything for Zwift World releases, content, events, ZRL once it gets going. The name says it all, The Wrap, right? The end of the week, The Wrap. So... That will be following TTT coverage on Thursday that me and Dave will still be doing, obviously. So be on the watch out for its first release tomorrow. Anna and I will be live at 2 p.m. Central Time, just as a heads up. Um, and we'll be back next week. Am I going to see any of you guys next week? Did you guys enjoy yourselves? <laughs> Dave, yeah. let's I'll start, start with Dave. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I'm... I'm going to Zwift headquarters next week, so I won't be able to join you. Actually, going to spend uh, some time in SoCal there with nice Steve and the crew. Yeah, right on. So, Dave, awesome. uh, hey, come see me. Yeah, I'm like you know what? Thirty My... miles from Zwift HQ. I'll s yeah, I'll s yeah, we'll have to. Lunch is on me, sweet. So I'll see you down there. All right, five star restaurant it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking hot dog stand to tell you the truth, but uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Meet somewhere in the middle, maybe a croissant. All right, there you go. Exactly. We'll get a hero or something. We'll have to get uh, yeah. Eric on lead for next week a little bit then. Eric, you gonna take over lead? You got did you did you learn enough oh, this week? <laughs> I I don't think I hold a candle to Dave. He's he's <laughs> impressive. It's almost like he's done this once or twice. <laughs> Right on, I don't know. Right we were trying out our impressions last time, so you can you can brush up on, on some <laughs> Davism. But... There you go. Well, you know, right, I'll everybody. give you full license, Eric. You you go for it. So <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. No, if you guys want to check out with this, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this is tons of fun. I'm absolutely loving it. Obviously, you get to race the bike and get some more people in the middle of summer out on Zwift doing some hardcore racing and enjoying the classics. If you guys want to check out anything with the classics and what these events are all about, on the Twitch channel there are links below for these events specifically that we just did. That'll take you to a page that's about the classics as well. But if you want information that's given on a weekly basis for how you get involved with this race or the classics in general, you can jump into our Discord. The Discord channel is linked below. You can also obviously head over to Zwift Insider. Eric, go ahead and throw a link out into the chat. Uh, you can easily find that. If you're watching a replay of this, it's just ZwiftInsider.com. If you don't know what that is, do you even Zwift, bro? But um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be it for us. I'm going to leave you guys with the wrap podcast image. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Hit that follow button. Join the Discord. See you tomorrow for the wrap. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. You guys, you guys are all super awesome and getting us going on the race. And as always, everybody, right on.